I don't care what I miss Cause my life is dismissed I keep searching for my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs But now it's begun I go oh, 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 oh I go oh, 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 oh I sing along I keep pushing myself now Before I knew sound more Than ever before Keeps repeating my phrases happy monday gonna have a nice productive day today um i just want to start off the video by saying let's ignore my lovely little forehead playing up um listen when it comes to the time of the month my forehead lets me know without a doubt every single time without fail <laughs> so for anyone that ever comments saying that I have nice skin then not all the time not all the time as you can clearly see so I am just getting ready for the day I thought I'd quickly come on and let you guys know what today's video is going to be about so it's really just going to be like a spend the day with me um, but it is Monday and Monday is my favourite day of the week and not only is it Monday it's also the end of the month which means a whole new month to make new goals and to set targets and a fresh start is how I like to see it. So today I've got quite a lot of things to do um, and more specifically, like I said, it's new goals, new goals for the week, new goals for the month. So we're going to be making some goals. Um, what else have I got to do today? I have got to edit my video. I need to go run some errands errands is that an american word errands i can't speak american please don't try and listen to me um yeah i need to go top up our gas card um so that we don't freeze to death and have central heating for the next couple of months because <laughs> it is flipping cold let me tell you i'm actually freezing my little socks off um, I then need to get some petrol. I need to drive my car for a little bit because, 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 I'm not going to go into like all the mechanical details, <laughs> but um, if I don't drive my car for two or three days, the battery dies and the battery is perfectly fine. Um, it's a brand new battery and it's happened to me about three times since I've had a new battery um, and everyone keeps saying to me <laughs> literally so many people keep saying to me oh you must be leaving a light on I am not leaving any lights on I don't drive at night time or anything so I don't really have my lights on and um, if I do and then the car will let me know if I open the door and I've left the light on and I don't have any interior lights so it's not my lights, um, I think it's not, I'm not going to pretend I know what I'm talking about, but it's not the alternator, <laughs> I don't really know what that is, but we got that checked and it's not that, so the MOT is coming up 
next month um anyway i'm rambling but yeah i need to go and um i need to go take it for a drive because <laughs> i haven't i didn't drive it yesterday so that's what we need to do i would love to do a little come drive with me but i have nowhere to put you guys i need to get i don't know if there's something that i can get to sit on the dashboard um because i don't my um is it a dashboard my front of my car is very sloped so there's literally no way i can put any of you any of you like i'm taking all of you individually into my car so yeah i just want to see where this day takes us um it's still it's nine o'clock so nice and early i've already um put away the dishes tidied the kitchen up just tidied up the lounge a bit um and i'm not going to eat anything till lunch today just because i'm letting my body i guess you could say intermittent fasting but it's not something that i do regularly just every now and then i won't have breakfast i'll skip it just so it kind of gives a good like flush out the system i guess i don't really know the science behind it but if that wasn't a transformation then i don't know what it is <laughs> we now feel a lot more normal we're looking a lot more normal um the time is 35 past nine so it took me 35 minutes to get ready which i don't think is that bad to be honest i think i get ready pretty quick um so yeah so i am oh for anyone that's wondering what i am wearing i'm really not wearing anything special let me show you in here okay so um this jumper is from zara and these leggings are from zara actually <laughs> they're all zara um i did recently buy this um so there should be a haul that's already been put up um so i'll link it down below because i love zara and it's so soft as well right i don't know whether to bring a coat like i am not a summer person but then i also don't like the winter so you literally can't win with me Ooh. um so i'm gonna bring a coat because i am freezing guys it is so freaking cold oh my god Oh my lord! It is definitely autumn. <sighs> okay, 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 let's just get the heating on. Um, okay, right, gonna do my little petrol and gas card errands. Um, I wish you guys could drive with me. Look, I'll show you where I'm putting you. You're on this little bit, but it's like not stable at all. Like in the minute I um turn my wheel you you'll all just go and um, we don't want that to happen um and as well this is slanted so otherwise i would have had a little conversation with you guys but no so i'm going to just go do the stuff that i need to do and then i will guess i'll see you guys when i'm home i guess who knows well It looks like I'm not going anywhere. Because guess what? I think it's time for me to get a new car. Um. Okay, well, it looks like we're just spending the day at home. What the hell? What? <sighs> Guys, I left it for one day. One day. And the battery's dead. Any mechanics out there, please help. Because I don't... Honestly, I don't... I haven't even left any lights on. I don't get it. I don't get it. I need to go and... Who do I go to to have a... Get it checked out? I don't even know. I need to get my brother and Jamie involved. <laughs> I don't know. But... <laughs> okay. Looks like I'm not going anywhere today. Um... I'd get my brother to jumpstart it, but he literally came round two days ago to jumpstart it, and it's dead again. So, right, that's thrown my day off. Okay, so we're not gonna let our little mishap throw us off the day. I need to go, obviously, 
fix that problem i need to take it to a garage because obviously your battery should not be dying every single day um anyway we're gonna move past it um what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna do my favorite part of the day and uh, my favorite part of the month and that is goal planning i am someone that strives off goals um, I also like to review goals that I set for the previous month and the week and look at why I didn't achieve it and what can I do next time to be able to achieve it or do I need to make something a little bit more realistic. Um, so I have my little book here, um, my little notebook. This is my um, notebook where I do a lot of manifesting, a lot of um, scripting those who do not know about that if you know about law of attraction you'll know um i i would say i'd do a video on law of attraction but to be honest i like i don't think i'm an expert at it uh oh no i wouldn't say i'm an ex expert at it um if you guys are into law of attraction i definitely recommend ella ring rose she is my favorite um youtuber that talks about manifesting your goals and law of attraction so every single day and night i write in this book um i have nearly finished this um i'm about halfway full and that alone is september <laughs> so i obviously need to go and get a new notebook um so you guys saw as well in the morning i like to write down 10 things that i am grateful for um and it just keeps me level-headed whenever things like this happen like with my car um it helps me to get over it i'm grateful that i have a car anyway i mean even though it's pretty much broken <laughs> but i am grateful you know not many people can have a car so yeah things like that i definitely recommend if you're kind of in a little bit of a rut in your life and you you're quite a negative person um you you know you often feel like, oh why me why me try writing 10 things you're grateful for every grateful for every single morning and i promise you it will shift your perspective in life perspective perspective i need to stop with these big words because i don't know who i think i am so the first thing that i'm going to do i also have my cappuccino um i'm technically breaking my fast i know but i need a uh, a little caffeine boost after that m morning um also means i probably could have just didn't have to bother getting dressed did i really i will it's been and done been and done so what i do when i i like to set goals so i always like i said set goals at the start of every month um, and i also set goals at the start of every week so there's my september goals okay so i will often make goals for youtube where i want to be at youtube um I it just gives me something to work towards and it keeps me a little bit more motivated. For example, I want to achieve X, Y, and Z, um, X amount of subscribers, X amount of views, I want to upload X amount of videos, I want to upload this video, um, I want to be better at my editing, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but of course, I do want just want to point out that I am grateful for whatever number of my subscribers are, it really doesn't matter to me that much um but anyway and then i'll set something personal so for example one thing that i um set was at the gym i'd like to comfortably comfortably deadlift 30 kg um i didn't achieve that <laughs> because to tell you the truth guys i've actually been slacking in the gym um but my previous video explains all of that i don't know what i eat in a day and you guys can check that out to know why i don't really go to the gym anymore so I do personal goals like that and then um, general ones, so fun little ones. So for example, I'd like to start some Christmas shopping, preferably with the kids, um, off the family, not my kids. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've achieved that. I definitely have done a lot of Christmas shopping, believe it or not. So I always like to just go ahead and review all of them and then um, start out with my new goals. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys what my... I usually like to set three goals for each um, category. I'm going to tell you guys what my personal one was. Because <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. I haven't really done very well, I'm not going to lie. So, obviously, at the gym, I'd like to comfortably deadlift um, 30kg. Sorry, I'm just logging into my laptop. Um, no, I did not, unfortunately, achieve that. I'm at about... I can do 30kg um but not comfortably i can't do like 10 i can probably 
get about four or five. Um, two, I'd like to <laughs> only eat out once a week. <laughs> yeah, didn't achieve that. And three, I'd like to maintain my weight at 54 to 55 kg. And I believe I've achieved that. Um, I don't actually own any weighing scales. I go to my mum's. Whenever I go to my mum's, I just jump onto the weighing scales. Um, and I believe so. I don't think I've gotten heavier. I haven't checked, um, weighed myself recently, but I think I'm pretty much at 55. we are pretty much finished um it is quarter past 11 it's taken me about half an hour i just love doing it so much like i literally wait for the beginning of the month every single month <laughs> um like i'm so excited now to do november's goals <laughs> um i can't believe it's october already that is actually mad well i said it's 28th of september but technically october like it's so crazy my birthday is next month and i literally feel like my birthday was last month mad um so yeah i'm just going to share a few ones um with you guys because if you want to do this at home i know sometimes i like i literally sit here and think it takes me ages to think of goals um and especially ones that mean something to me um because i don't like just saying like oh well, i'd like to go i'd like to eat healthy like i like to actually put some thought into it um if you guys are familiar with smart goals so specific measurable achievable realistic and time time management time managing time frame and um, then it just it helps you put some real thought behind your goals and how you can achieve it so i'm going to share a couple ones with you so um so for a couple ones from personal i'd like to finish my book i'm currently reading i'm almost finished um i cannot believe this is my life right now i can't believe that i'm reading books honestly guys for my family that know me i know they're probably like what i know my mum my mum's always like i can't believe you even talk about reading books <laughs> i never used to read books i really struggled to read um i have a very uh my brain goes very very quick it's a very um i don't want to say hyperactive brain because then that sounds like i've got i've got adhd i don't have that i'm not diagnosed with that but my brain goes very very quick so then i read something i'll read a page and in two minutes i'm at the bottom and i could not tell you what i've just read <laughs> like i couldn't because my mind's somewhere else so i'm reading but i'm i'm not taking any information in so lockdown has really helped me to um practice my reading to just get a little bit better at it um i really struggle um so i'd like to finish my book i'm currently reading i think i have about 100 more pages left um i'd like to go for a walk at least three times a week this was a bit of a funny one because you guys know i'm on furlough i have a feeling i might have an update this month i mean i say that every single month and i still have not heard a thing from work in the last seven months can you believe <laughs> um so um yeah this one's a little bit like if i don't hit it then i'm not mad because i might be going back to work but for the time being whilst being in furlough um, and lockdown i'd like to go for a walk at least three times a week get my steps up um and then if i i also set another one that's hush hush that's a personal one um and if i set all if i hit all three then i'm gonna go to waggers and treat myself to a nice wagamama meal um for my general i'd like to try new free try new three new meals um it's the same as last month but i've been really enjoying trying to find a new recipe and master my skill um just because i love cooking i love cooking 
Um, number two, go to a place I have never been before. Um, so that could be anywhere. I kind of put that down because I kind of know I'm going to hit it because me and Jamie are planning to go somewhere um, for our anniversary. Not out of the country, just somewhere near the seaside. Um, so, but we haven't booked it yet, so it might not be the case. We don't, we might not actually go. Um, but if we do, then that's fab. Um, and then I'd like to meet up with friends four times this month or out of family. Um, like I said, being on furlough and lockdown, and I also moved away from where a lot of my friends are. Um, a lot of my friends live back where, because I used to live with Jamie, and I, I met a lot of my friends through work. Um, Jamie literally lives 10 minutes from work. Um, so all of my friends, my main friends are kind of around that area. I say all of my all of my friends. I literally have about five friends, <laughs> um, but I would like to meet up with them about four times this month because I feel like the friends that I have now in my life, I'm so incredibly grateful for, and they know who they are. Like I would not change a single friend that I have. I absolutely love my friends, um, but sometimes I feel like I can not forget about them. But I'm not a very sociable person, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I'm quite an introvert. I don't go out that much. Um, so I really want to go and meet them. We don't have to spend money, you know, they can come here or I can go there and meet them. I'm all out of family, so whether that be see Jamie's family or see my, not, I say out of family, I mean like my brother, uh, my sister-in-law and my niece and nephews um, because I haven't seen them all that much recently. So yeah, that's just a few of them just to kind of give you guys an idea what I'm going to do now, because I feel like this video is going to be a very long video, I am going to go ahead and actually start editing yesterday's video that I... Oh no, I need to make my week goals. I'm going to make my week goals. And then I'm going to go ahead and start editing um, my what I eat in a day. You guys should have seen that. It should have been the video before this. So go have a look. I will leave it down below. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to make some lunch right everybody um it is 1 15 it's actually a little bit later um in the day uh i've been editing my video i think for about two hours now um it's quite a long video it's the video that i would have posted it's just exporting now um but yeah it's the video that would be the video before this one um so go have a look I actually feel like a little bit emotional. I started tearing up watching it. And I'm going to sound like a complete sap right now. Like a complete sap. But I really, I am so glad I started YouTube. Because I feel like if you want to get, we want to get a little bit deep, right? I haven't always been this happy. Um, I really haven't. I haven't had the best time growing up. Um, I won't get into too much because I don't want it to be like emotional but when I watch back these videos um and I see myself go take myself for a walk on my own I work out I eat nice food I it makes me so proud of myself um because younger Courtney would never imagine or never dream of how I am now um lockdown has been I think a blessing in disguise for me this time of work has I honestly think it was a really good it was really good for me I'm trying to talk I'm really bad at you guys know I'm really bad at my sentences but um I've done a lot of self-development and when I watch back these videos um after editing especially when it's like a day in the life vlog I just think you go girl I am proud of you um, and yeah I just wanted to add that because I think sometimes every now and then you should check in on yourself and think like wow I've accomplished oh I think that might have been a delivery I've achieved let's go for the word I've achieved so much and yeah it's really important to be proud of yourself once in a while anyway enough of that crap <laughs> this just has been delivered and i know exactly what it is um i ordered like a little meal planner thing to put on the fridge um so we will open that in a second but first we need to get some food in our body because i'm hungry 
Okay, so for lunch, I'm going to have um, a sea bass fillet and then some vegetables. Love sea bass. Um, it is one of my favourite fish, if not my favourite fish ever. If that made any sense, probably not. Um, I may or may not do some couscous. Um, I'm not going to have rice. I usually have rice. I could eat rice all day, every day. But I'm going to do chilli con carne for dinner and that's quite a heavy meal. Um, so I just want something light just to keep me going because it is... It's nearly, well, it's quarter past one. Um, we'll probably eat dinner in about five hours. So, yeah, going to prepare this. And then I think I'm going to go for a walk. I don't know. Might not. I might. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Mmm. <laughs> how good does that look? Kind of broke, but as long as it's ed edible, then it's okay. So, I'm going to go for a little walk now. Um, if I'm completely honest with you guys, I cannot be asked. But I'm making myself go because there's no excuse. I'm not going to the gym, so I need to get my steps in. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm just going to be basically couch potato. There is a really nice park near us. Um, is it a park? Yeah, I guess it's a park. Um, and there's uh, ducks. I was going to say swans. There's no swans. It says ducks. There's geese there. Um, you guys, again, would have saw it in my What I Eat in the Day yesterday. Uh, yeah, I went yesterday. I filmed it yesterday. So you guys, in the last video, I would have saw it. Um, so I just really like it. I like to just kind of sit down for five minutes and watch the duck and the geese. People probably think, oh my god, she looks really sad. But I'm not. I'm just taking in my surroundings. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go head on for a walk. I'm going to listen to a podcast. And take some even some fresh air even <laughs> so i've just been chilling <laughs> and as you guys can see i've had a little bit of a change of clothes i've just put some ink um cozy on because that jumper well, is really hot actually like if you're cold i'd recommend that jumper but that jumper also gets everywhere it's the kind of material where like if you go like that it goes fluff fluff fluff, fluff. <laughs> whatever that was <laughs> So I'm gonna make some cookies now. Um, like I said, I'm cheating because I got the cookie mix, Betty Crocker cookie mix. Um, the only thing is, my baking trays are filthy. Like I'm not even gonna show you because I know I'm gonna get judged. But like I can't get the dirt off, not dirt, but um, like the burn marks and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know if I can put cookies, the cookie dough on foil or is it gonna stick i'm not too sure but we're gonna find out because i'm gonna put it on foil anyway i think i need to get like good decent baking trays because these were only like one pound from wilco's and i think they're a bit shit not gonna lie um it's actually half three now i feel like this day has gone so quick so I know where it's gone. I feel like I've bloody done so much. I mean, obviously, I, I could have got my petrol and topped up my gas. But my car decided I didn't want to like me today. So I do need to get that sorted. That is something that I do need to sort because I need a car. Um, so I need to go to a garage. Okay, so all you literally do is add water. That kind of scares me, the fact that you just add water. Like, what is in this? Actually, does it even have... Hmm. Don't know. Like, how can you get egg yolk powder? How do you make an egg yolk into powder? That's a bit confusing. I'm definitely going to tell Jamie these are homemade. You won't know. Mm, mm, mm. they kind of they don't really look like cookies do they they look like shortbread and yes this is my filthy baking tray i decided to use it listen it's not that it's 
filthy it's just stained i don't know how to get them stains off so if anyone knows any good products that i can use to get stains off my bacon tray please let me know actually maybe i can try and use the pink stuff maybe i'll do that today okay guys i'm gonna say goodbye here it is Quarter to four, I'm really, all that I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to maybe watch some telly and get some dinner on. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you feel like you've achieved something with me today. I feel like we've had a very flipping eventful day, haven't we? I've kind of been non-stop. What did we do? So we woke up, tidied the house a little bit, um, discovered my car, didn't like me today. Ruined my plans a little bit. <laughs> um, done some goal planning. Edited my video. Made some lunch. Uh, went for a walk and baked some cookies. I feel like we've had such an, a good day. This is why I love waking up early. Because then you can get so much done. So yeah, I'm going to say goodbye here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I haven't ate the I haven't ate, eaten, I haven't eaten the cookies yet. Um, I will let you guys know down below if they were nice or not. So make sure you check the description box. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of video. I know my videos can sometimes be really long, but... I don't want to just put out like a 5-10 minute crappy video, like I actually like to take time and I like to talk to you all so I feel like I have a friend when I talk to a camera, I mean Jamie's at work all day most of the time um, and it gets pretty lonely here, I don't know how people live on their own, I really don't, um, so yeah I like kind of just whipping out the camera and talking because it feels like I'm talking to someone, so yeah let me know if you enjoy this style video um, and hopefully it's not too boring and make sure you give a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already you know the drill make sure you subscribe but only if you want to of course um we are nearly at 500 in fact when this video goes up i might already be at 500 because i'm pretty sure this video is going to go up middle of october so dear future self i wonder if we've hit 500 yet and if we have amazing if we haven't still amazing but thank you all so much for subscribing and showing your love and i just really i really appreciate it i i couldn't put it into words i really can't um no one understands but me how grateful i am even though i have you know a, a minor subscriber count to all the people out there um that is still so much to me and thank you all so much anyways Stop being cringe, Courtney. Stop being cringe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.